Hello, 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 hello. This is Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking out here early this morning. Well, not early, but I got out here early. But um, the truck is experiencing some problems, and I'm going to show you what's happening. I got the DPL full again. Engine needs regen to clear data. Uh, we got all these codes on the dash. So, this is the second time this has popped up. And this truck shouldn't be doing this. It's been to two different dealerships, but when it came back from the dealership that did the transmission work to stop the overheating, it ended up with a death issue. It went to a shop on Wyoming. Uh, some shop called Williams. And they did transmission work. Uh, another driver drove the truck back pulled it in the pit to get it loaded when it came out it said it had a DEF issue uh, the shop ended up taking the DEF tank loose and putting a new uh, piece in there and um, it kind of worked fine after that then all of a sudden um, it got a batch of DEF in here put it in the truck and then the truck started sounding funny started doing a passive regen and now this is going on. This happened the other day. I had to switch trucks while we pop it in a regen. And it's doing it too much. Now, I don't know if somebody is something wrong with the DPF filter on here. If they pulled a switcher rule. Because this truck didn't have a full DPF filter. It didn't have a whole lot of soot in it. It barely had any soot in it. So, all this started after it came back from the dealership. And then uh, it went to the Peterbilt dealership for the overheating issue and uh, when it came back from Peterbilt all this stuff is going on now the ABS popped up going in the landfill now I don't know if that's a, just a loose sensor on a tire that these mechanics here has not found and fixed or if it's something triggering it on the dash but it popped up on the dash before this I started having this DEF issue this DPF filter shit pop up here but it's doing it too much This is the dilemma here. This is a constant problem. And this is not a coincidence. This is something that seems to happen with every truck I drive. They start with the same repetitive shit over and over again. First they start fucking with the tires. Then they start causing air leaks. Then it's, it's something else. Something else. But it's the same shit that's repetitive. This shit happened to me over the road. This truck here is not my truck. This is a company truck. And I don't know why these issues keep happening. I was with another local company here. And I just was assigned the truck. I cranked the truck up because it had been sitting there said, I'm running the truck, cleaning it up, ain't moved the truck, ain't did a load in the truck. I get in the truck, and all of a sudden, there's a D, a death issue. The way the truck had to go to the dealership. I had never even driven the truck. Now, this is another local company. I'm at, and here we go with the death, the D-rate, the constant regen. Now, I started having these issues with the last batch of death they brought in here. The truck was sounding funny. It's been doing passives. And all these codes, and they can't get all these other codes off because they don't have the computer. Why, I don't know. Why, they won't get it here to get it off. I don't know. But all this stuff is, I don't know if these codes up here is triggering it or there's something actually wrong with the truck. But I'm tired of coming in here. I'm coming in here earlier and earlier now. And I'm tired of coming in here. And it's a problem. Let me show you what's going on. ABS light just popped off. Just popped back on. Truck is not moving. So I don't know if that's a loose sensor on the wheel. Or it's just something. Somebody had done here. Because we get one issue fixed. It's always another one. And once we get this fixed. They're going to cause another one. And it's the same repetitive issues. Truck after truck. I lost my Kenworth truck. I had to turn it in over the road. 
when I was with USA Truck. That's why I no longer have that truck. This same exact issue. They got over seven thousand dollars out of me in fucking repairs, and the truck broke down again. And the first thing come out their mouth, they want to charge me to look at it, and then rake up another hefty bill. I'm tired of it, and I had it at the shop here at a shop on Wyoming, where I ended up paying for a new remanufactured DPF filter. Cost me fifteen hundred dollars just for that fucking filter. They charged me almost three thousand dollars to fix this truck. Pulled out of here, took a load to Texas, and the motherfucker broke down again. D-rate popping up on it. I get a guy at a shop to check it. Cost me three hundred for to tell me he couldn't fix it. Then I had to call Kenworth down. Find out it's a sensor on the engine. It was an upper sensor on the a damn engine. That motherfucker cost six hundred dollars. So about time he went and got everything, got it fixed. The truck had already fully derated to five miles an hour. So he had to fix it in the truck stop lot. He had to go to the shop, get the part, come back, and just to clear, clear the codes out. Then we got it up to the dealership. By the time that was all over, that the bill was up to twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars. After paying a total of three, almost three thousand dollars from the shop here in Wyoming, where I had the state of Michigan come investigate that, where they said it wasn't nothing wrong, and that you didn't have to be licensed to work on the exhaust system. But they cost me $3,000 for the truck that broke down. It cost me another damn near almost $1,500 right after that. But the state of Michigan inspector came out, said what wasn't wrong with what they were doing. But I'm out all my money, and I no longer have that truck. But what wasn't wrong with what the fuck they were doing, according to the state of Michigan. Here we go with this truck. Same exact shit. I'm tired of the issues with the goddamn truck. Stop fucking with the truck. Stop fucking with the truck. Leave the truck alone. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, get it to somebody that does. Don't be fucking with these trucks, getting all these codes on these trucks, and you can't get them off, and leaving this shit on these trucks. These are newer trucks. You cannot leave all these codes on the dash of these newer trucks. It'll start triggering other shit to go wrong. The trucker thinks something wrong is triggering something else. So I don't know if it's something actually wrong, or this shit triggered it because all these fucking, the truck is lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. I just put this truck in the regen the other day. Put some old def in it, ran it. Here we go again. Every truck, and I mean every truck, is the same exact shit. Repetitive issues. And I am aware that the dealership is able to log into these trucks from their dealership. I am aware of the computer hacking and the shit people do to make it seem like you have a mechanical issue to get your truck to the shop and wake you up a healthy bill. A healthy bill. I am aware of all of that because you've done it to me. I'm looking at the signs here. I see the signs that this shit is going on here. Every truck that I get seems to have the same repetitive mechanical issues going on. It's like they doing it to see what's going to happen. What, 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 why are you doing it? Why are you fucking with the trucks I'm driving? I'm tired of the goddamn shit. This motherfucking shit is aggravating. I don't like a truck with all these codes on it. I don't like a truck you can't get fixed. I don't like a shop that don't have the equipment to fix the damn trucks. And I don't like a shop that keep breaking the equipment that needs to fix the trucks. Get this shit fixed. Get it off the truck. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, get it somewhere who can get it fixed.